Greetings in the name of the King, King Jesus. Oh, something just came to me. This is not religion. This is kingdom government. Yes, I speak that with such confidence. I once was in religion. My wife wrote an article. If you go to uh, just this past week, she wrote an article. And um, I think I have it here somewhere. Let me see. You just stay right there for a minute, a little while there. And I want you, want y'all to understand it. She wrote an article that I'm really hooked upon. And she makes a statement here. Let me see here. Yes, I like to, I love what my wife writes. Matter of fact, um, she even adds to some of my writing from time to time. And what I, I just want you to say this, husband, love your wives. I, I love my wife to the point I live it. And my wife was so much together uh, in spirit. We're one. I just don't know what to say. But she wrote an article that says, one key element to spreading the kingdom. So many of you, uh, if you're listening to this on, on YouTube right now, uh, go to my website, um, kingdomcitizens.org, uh, and look uh, under, um, let's see here, a uh, one woman's uh, viewpoint, I think it is. She, she, she's under the one woman's perspective. That's what it's called. And you go under there and you read that article. And um, her insight, and the Holy Spirit gave it to her. I have no doubt about it. No doubt about it. You see. So you may, I, I'm very comfortable now. When I first started out with um, doing this with my son, and he, he suggested it, and I really thank him for it his time and his expertise in this, um, I was uh, very uncomfortable. Uh, you know, I couldn't, I'm used to talking and walking around, but he have uh, shown me that um, it's effectiveness. See, I'm all about the kingdom. I'm all about the kingdom of heaven and the kingdom of God. And uh, I think I've explained that to you, but if you want me to do it, I'll do it again. The kingdom of heaven is where God resides. The kingdom of God is his principles. And it was used interchangeably. Sometimes we use it interchangeably. And it means that the government of God dwells in you. This culture dwells in you. And if the culture of the kingdom dwells in you, that means you can go anywhere, any place, and the power and the glory, which is the culture of the kingdom, will dwell, and you will affect them in time. Remember, uh, 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 the kingdom of heaven is like yeast. You don't see it moving. It doesn't make a loud noise. It doesn't blow a trumpet. But in time, you see the results of it. it grows, grows. It affects throughout the whole dough. Comes out to be a beautiful cake. So what I'm saying in essence is that embrace the concept, here's that word again, which leads to a mindset, which leads to a behavior, a lifestyle, an effective lifestyle that you affect those around you in a very positive way for the kingdom of God. You don't have to give out tracts. That's a religious way, by the way. You don't have to give out tracts. You don't have to get a little books. Just allow the Holy Spirit to rule in your life, and you will find there's a difference from time to time. And it doesn't happen overnight. Excuse me. It doesn't happen overnight. It's a process. I want you to know when David, God told David he was going to be king, he was king, it didn't happen next year. It was over 25 years after that that he took his throne. Thank you. Another thing, Jesus was sent here to restore man, 
the government of mankind, of God to this earth. That's what we lost, a government. And he knew that from Jump Street. That's a little terminology I'll use. But yet, 30 years later, then he acted upon it. Now, when he was 12 and he went to go to, had to go to Bar Mitfield, they told him, stick with us, Father. Stick with us, son. Mary and Joseph thought he was with them, but he was back there teaching. He said, whoa, 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 son. This ain't your time yet. Read it for yourself, by the way. And 30 years later, when he was 30, 30 years, 30 years of age, but then, you heard a voice crying in the wilderness, Repent! For the kingdom of heaven is that hand. Who is that voice? That was John. You know him as John the Baptist. Then Jesus came on the scene after that, and he, he wanted to be baptized of John, and John refused. No, but he said, let it be so now. God has a plan for you right now. I want you to understand this. I want to say this before we leave. The Father has a plan for your life. He has a purpose for your life. I'm going to give you a legal term now. But it's your fiduciary duty to seek it out. Meaning it's your legal obligation to seek it out. God has a gift that he has given you. And you have to seek it out. Now, do I have to tell you how to, do I have to tell you what Jesus said? Matthew 6 and 33, seek first. You want to know where you stand in God's kingdom? Seek first the kingdom of heaven and his righteousness. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. What's all these things? God will lay this on you. Matthew 6 and 25. You want to know what he's talking about? What things, all these things? Listen, see, when you're in the kingdom of God, you don't look at things as, oh, being blessed, I need to be blessed. No, 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 no. The king takes care of his own. I'm a witness to that today. The king takes care of his own. You have a sickness. You need financial. You need something for you. When you know your gifting and you know who you are, listen what he said. And, 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 and that was the 33rd verse. Seek ye first. But listen, what you want to know is all these things. Listen what he says. Therefore, I say unto you, do not worry about your life what you shall eat or what you shall drink, nor about your body, what you will put on, is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Let us go on. Look at the birds of the air, for they neither sow nor reap nor gather in bonds. But we go on. Yet your heavenly Father feeds them, and are, are you not more value, value than they? Which of you, by worrying, can add one cupid to your state? Hey, you know what? I say, I'm going to say this. I only got a few seconds left. Don't sweat the small stuff when you're in the kingdom of God. He will handle it. If you obey his word, he'll obey. He'll keep his word. Quote, I'm going to repeat that. If you obey his word, he will definitely keep his word to you. Until next time, you have a nice day.